We on the right know that narrative is not everything, right? The left thinks narrative establishes the truth, but we know the truth has a voice of its own, and the truth will speak out no matter what story you tell. Even in the former Soviet Union, where propaganda narrative nearly drowned out reality, reality ultimately had its revenge. Here, where information still flows around the massive wall of lies built by ABC, NBC, Google slash YouTube, The New York Times, CNN, and all the rest, the truth's effects are even more immediate. When things in the country are going relatively well and NBC's Chuck Todd comes out and declares we're in a national nightmare because we won't buy into the Democrats' latest absurd impeachment kabuki show, it doesn't cause Americans to reel in nightmarish horror. It only makes Chuck Todd look like a dishonest child, a hysterical old woman, a scurvy purveyor of false information, plus an hysterical child masquerading as a dishonest old woman, or vice versa. But a relentlessly false narrative from a wide array of sources is harmful to our country in other ways. Being a leftist narrative, it encourages the left to drift further and further into radicalization because they can't see themselves as they are. It encourages them to lie and manipulate our politics because they know Chuck Todd and his dishonest ilk will never, ever call them out on it, but will only amplify their shenanigans defending the deep state and John Brennan of all people. My God goodness. Those people who are foolish enough to believe the left-wing narrative, those people I mean who are foolish enough to watch Chuck Todd, become convinced that those who disagree with them are evil and can't be spoken to or debated with. And those people who are being lied about, namely we conservatives, we become convinced there's no place for us in the mainstream, that no one will listen to what we're saying, and we become entrenched, angry, and alienated. Because of the narrative, because of the media, we feel the divide between us is unbreachable, like a wall. And that's nonsense. There are always two sides to every debate, and there's usually room for compromise. There's no need for us to hate one another over the fact we disagree. We've always disagreed in America. The hatred is coming from the narrative of bad actors like Chuck Todd and NBC who pretend to bring us the news but lie in their own interests, lie relentlessly, and those lies build a wall between us. It's not the news that divides us. It's the news media. The rest of us have to work around them. Everything is tickety-boo, including the massive growth of the Daily Wire YouTube channel. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and catch all our future videos right here on YouTube.